welcome to Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast. This is an actual play Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Royalty free music provided by Kevin MacLeod, Michael Gelfi Studios, Plate Mill Games, and Tabletop Audio. And now, to adventure. Hello, listeners. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Knights of Roleplay. We are continuing with John's Tomb of Annihilation game, and uh, we're doing this session over Zoom. And uh, Kate and I have no babysitter, and it's raining, and it's supposed to be really windy. So uh, if we lose connection, uh, hopefully I can edit that out. And uh, Kate and I may have our attention divided. <laughs> maybe we may be AFK every so often. Uh, but I'm going to turn over to John to try to try to kill the party. So whenever you're ready, John. <laughs> D&D Extreme Edition. <laughs> try not to kill the party. I thought the whole point was to try to have him kill the party. No, don't kill the party. What? Kill the kill party. The party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't All know right. if you should have the Agents of Chaos on two <laughs> different sides of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> When we last left the uh, walking corpses, uh, you had uh, managed to find your way into the tomb um, after having a little bit of fun with a uh, uh, slightly trapped corridor. Uh, the uh, resident kobold decided they uh, they wanted to take a deep dive directly into a darkness-filled mouth and found out that things were a little bit more interesting in there after a fun little fight with some unknown weird shadow creature and this some weird unknown construct thing uh, you had continued exploring around the tomb uh, finding your way over to another room in which uh, anything metal was weirdly attracted to the statue on the far side of the room um Oh, and you had also discovered a uh, crystal window overlooking uh, some strange little tomb inside Then full of skeletons. With full of, ske- full of skeletons around the outside, yes. yes. Mm. Well, the one that went away, too. Yep. Uh, we ended the session uh, with uh, Fang uh, in the uh, room of attraction, uh, trying to see if he could do something about the statue at the far ends. So, Fang, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Tell me what it is you're going to try to do in that room. I'm going to walk up to the statue. The Go statue is it. looming over you, looming ominously. <laughs> Tavriel uh, follows. Do I see any switches or triggers or anything like that on the statue? Anything, any, like, moving pieces? Uh, not that you can tell. The, uh... Um, the knight, the uh, the statue of the knight and its large shield uh, seems to be all seem to be all made of a piece. Um, the only thing loose around you are all the scattered rust flakes all over the floor. Hmm. I just gotta wonder why people would come in this room. Like, what's up with the statue? Right. If you want to investigate the statue, well, actually, let's, I don't even bother. Don't even bother. Uh, you check around and you really don't find anything. Um, what does the statue appear to be made of? Not all stone. Uh, let's see. Mm, the shield, uh, mostly iron. Okay. All right. Tavriel turns to her giant tiger friend and says, "Do you think you could uh, knock it over?" So I'm rolling a strength check to see if I can knock the statue over. Uh. Yeah. Give me a strength athletics. So that would be. Kings four. So, 13 plus 8 is 21. No. Is that with help, Brian? Uh, no. Did you do it with advantage? Same number. 
<laughs> so 13, okay. 13 plus 8, I can't, I can't pass that right now for some reason. 21 still a decent roll, but uh, the statue is very firmly anchored to the floor, and you cannot budge it. Okay. Can we just try to hit it? I mean, it's it's, it's made of iron. <laughs> Is that or we can we can scout past it to try to see what's beyond it, but there's a risk in that. Yeah. I mean. Uh, sorry, let me recall that a little bit. The shield it's holding is made of iron. The statue itself is stone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I mean, still, it's made of stone. So <laughs> Tavriel tries to lift the shield off the statue. Uh, the shield is very firmly anchored to the statue. You can't move it. Okay. Uh, the shield does not yield. The shield does not yield. <laughs> I turn to my magical friend and say, if you're if you're not in this form, do you have anything that would detect magic? Can we determine if it's just the shield that's doing this? Kind of turned to everybody else in the entryway and said, do you, you have, have any other that. ideas? <laughs> Kobus was... would love to smash the thing to pieces, but as soon as I crack in there, it tries to take my sword. Very rude. <laughs> I mean, I can try to break the shield. I don't know how much damage it's going to take to break If I it. were to go in there, would I feel any kind of pull towards it it's... with what I have on? You'd be taking a risk doing that. Because if you can't resist the pull, we don't know what happens to your stuff, and there's a bunch of rusty stuff on the floor, Greg. Oh. Uh, so, do you want to risk losing all your metal gear? Is the no, <laughs> I don't. Alright, well maybe we can try to attack it. Alright, yeah. Tavriel tries to, like, karate chop the shield. Um... One second. Judo chop! <laughs> no, it's Hassan. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee, that stuff. We have suggested we, we just avoid this room. <laughs> oh, let's we'll see what uh, happens well, if we hit it. If nothing we happens, we'll see the skeletons well, in the back. To... Roll to hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's feeling like behaving tonight? Why not? Um. Sorry, let me get to unarmed. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Who wants to play? That would be a critical. Ah. Okay. We don't have anything for bop, that. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Charge. One on the second die, whatever. Um so let's see here. That is 10 magical fist. All right. You uh, reel back, slam your fist into the, into the statue, and uh, it cracks. Fisting the statue now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the statue cracks? Yep. Okay. I, all right. Uh, I hit it again. <laughs> Extra attack. Um, okay. Hold it. <laughs> Uh, 25 to hit. Uh, the stat, uh, you hit it again really hard and crack spider web throughout the statue. Yeah, I, 11 damage. Okay. Uh, one more time. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see here. 26 to hit. I still hit. Or yeah. 8 magical fists. Uh, more cracks up here, but the statue still seems to be standing. Okay. Mm. So it's not like the whole thing looks like it's going to shatter apart. It's just like I'm damaging a small area of it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this would take a long time. Oh, uh, no, you've, you've got cracks pretty well throughout the statue. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just going to keep doing this unless the tiger is going to take a turn. <laughs> oh, that's, the, that's, that's kind of the only question. I mean, 
kind of found it at this point. Uh, it's just a question of how long it's going to take you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I missed again. Uh, it's definitely a miss. I, I turn to the tiger and say, I, I, I need to regroup myself. You take a turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I uh, swing at it with my claw. All right. 17 to hit. Uh, yep, you managed to get a good bite of it. A 14. And that's enough. With a mighty swipe of your claw, you smash down on the uh, weakened statue, and the statue collapses into rubble. Um, I go back to the hallway where everybody is and take out a couple copper pieces from my pack and hold them out in my hand so I can let go of them if I have to and walk back into the room. Uh, the copper does not react. Alright, I say I think the path is... I'm so annoyed that I missed out on the fighting that I walk into the room. (laughs) Make a strike check. I'm kidding. You're fine. (laughs) Ah! Kate smash! Kate smash! <laughs> Sometimes that's the correct answer. <laughs> so we're all in there now? Is this... Yeah, and I mean, if I guess... The, do we Do we okay. explore on until we find a dead-end place? Do we choose this as a place where we try to rest our poor, mostly broken buddy? Well, you... Uh, this particular room does have three corridors, the one that you came from, and the one to the north and the one to the south. I thought we were trying- I thought we were trying to get to that, uh, <clears throat> place with the the, the- 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 the skeleton, the masks, and the things, and the stuff, and the- yeah. Are you talking I mean, about we, where we the thought that this went. might go back there because this is roughly behind the devil's face where we are right now. We We're getting so. close to that. So the the room, John, just so I have a clear picture, like the end of the room where that statue was sitting, um, mm-hmm. there's like a corridor going off of each kind of corner at that end of the room, north and south, if I'm remembering well, correctly. It's, it's more this. from the walls on either side. Okay, from the walls on either from, side. From the, yeah, from All the right. long... 35 uh, foot okay. walls. Uh, and the, running the, the skeleton running the went to the northern one, right? Southern. I remember. Oh, it was the southern. Okay. So the, the skeleton went to the southern, but like mm-hmm. you guys are saying, the devil face may be, or behind the devil face may be through the northern passageway, and also that that takes us more back towards that chapel. We were thinking that going in the southern hallway might bring us back to the chapel that we saw. Yeah, going south sounds sounds fine. Okay. I'm okay with going south. I think. Brian? I'm really here. This is based off of what we drew last week, which I think is actually showing right side around. So we came into the room. A little map she drew. We (laughs) came into the room from here. And the statue was there, and then I thought I thought that our map, as we were working with it last week, as you drew it, Sarah was oriented with, like this would be north and that would be south. Am I wrong about that? Because this is the direction that loops back towards the Devil's Head and the Chapel, which are somewhere. In yeah, this north area. was down. North was down. Okay, so then yes, south. We go that way. <laughs> yeah, in that general direction. So okay, that is so south. Take- okay, I was flipped. So thank you for clarifying, Sarah. I appreciate oh. it. Okay, so you take the southern passage. Yep. Um, you uh, head on down uh, a uh, re- a relatively short hallway, only to find nothing. The hallway <laughs> ends. Okay. So is it into uh, the wall or? Oh, there's something more here. I don't yeah, trust it. Tavriel says, uh, Gleep, let me help you search to see if we can find it. That's the best perception. That's the best anyone perception of the whole party. Mm-hmm. I've decided it's headcanon that, that Gleep and Tavriel were training at the same monastery before they encountered the rest of the party. Sure, why not? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> that Kate and Chris's characters right. knew well, each other before perception. they started oh. adventuring together. <laughs> Whatever, Syndra and Britannia. <laughs> uh, we've got a 20. We've got a 20. Okay. Anybody else? 
What's I mean, going I, on? I, I helped him, so I can't, unless okay. you want me to. I'm just it. going to oh, smash on yeah. walls if nobody stops me. Okay. Uh, well, that's okay. Because Gleep um, does. Uh, well, where are you looking? Uh, I'm looking at. Um, it, it ends on a wall, right? Yes. So I'm probably just checking that wall. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then you do indeed notice that the wall is kind of weird, and you notice a little catch. Okay. What's the catch? <laughs> okay. I'm to activate the catch. About to find out when you catch the catch. Gleep, if you want to back up, I can do it. It's up to you, man. All right. Gleep, Gleep activates the catch. Okay. Uh, the wall uh, slides open. And you find yourself facing the back of a, uh, um, uh, let's see, hang on a second. You, you find yourself looking at the back of a old, but kind of ornate looking throne. Oh. Oh. So is that, was that the same as the throne that we, the people saw in the chapel? Did we, did we oh. see it in the chapel? There, I wanted... thought that there were thrones. And there was a throne and a dais, and then six other thrones with dead bodies and masks. Do you right? want to take? Do you do you want to kind of step around the throne, and take a look into the room? Uh, Gleep is going to suggest somebody else who's not so. Really I damaged. will go. Okay, can, uh, I, I can I go. turn to say Fang and Mayak? Can you come with me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will give you. you know, I'll, I'll give you the description again. By the uh, way, John, time... I did pick up my equipment just to make it clear. Okay, <laughs> okay so there won't be ogres later. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the description again as you see it here. Uh, this vaulted tomb is overgrown with moss and creepers. A stone sarcophagus rests on a stepped dais in the middle of the floor. On the wall behind the sarcophagus, two large statues of bears grip a five-foot diameter bronze disc embossed with a dozen glaring eyes. Six desiccated corpses slump on thrones in niches along the walls, one of which uh, the uh, you have just come in from behind. Each corpse wears a black mask made of paper mache and feathers. An arched crystal window to the east offers a view of the tunnel beyond. East, like the far end of the chapel as we as we saw it through the crystal window you were kind of cut off at the beginning there can you say that again oh so east was the crystal window that went to the passage where we saw it before or is that on the opposite side john um yeah on the east on the east you to the east you do indeed see the crystal window and it looks like the one you uh you were at before east west okay have you, have I you think that the... stupid poem thing was talking about masks and not being seen. I wonder if those weird eyeball things That's what about what we're ask. supposed have you actually to gone stop from into... seeing. Yeah. Have you actually gone into the room yet, or have you? are you just looking? Just looking right now. Okay. I thought Mayak and uh, Fang were going in. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going? Okay, I mean, so Mayak I, and Fang I was are... gonna go. I was gonna go in with them too, but I, I definitely look around at the doorway before actually stepping through. All right. Well, let me know if you uh, what you guys are gonna do then. Okay. All right. Just to be clear. Feel I'm like I'm gonna go in. Okay. You're gonna go into. Okay, yep. so Tavriel Mayak and Fang step. Mayak, Fang, and Tavriel step into the room. Yep. Okay. Um. And John, is the, that throne that we're stepping around, that's on the northern edge of the room somewhere? In the uh, correct. Uh, as you step in, you see uh, that you have uh, come in behind the easternmost, uh, eastern side of the two on the northern wall. Oh, there's three on each wall? There's two on each wall. Two. Oh, okay. So there's two on the, the western wall, too. All right. Yep. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not catching all your descriptions because okay. that's mm -hmm. my thought process. All right. Okay. Sorry, just refreshing myself. What happened um, on this room here? I've read it so many a dozen times already, but it never sticks. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> we all die. All right. Um, as the three of you uh, step into the room, uh, next, give me. See, what are your pass? Uh, you got uh, Tavriel. You notice that the eyes on the disc 
turn to look at you. Okay. And, and this as is they on... do, uh, is on... sorry. Uh, the uh, six, uh, uh, the uh, the six corpses on each of the uh, um, thrones stand up, turn to you, and advance to attack. Oh, boy. Well initiative. Oh shit. I yell, yo, we're being attacked in here. <laughs> hey, you didn't invite me in. I might just let you Get take this here. one. <laughs> Tavio says, yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. Yo yeah. in TV raps? <laughs> yeah. What is this yo you speak of? <laughs> oh, are we all rolling for initiative? Oh, you do. You also notice yes. one more thing um, as you step into the room. Mm -hmm. uh, that weird skeleton? Yeah, it's standing there in the room. Okay. Looking a the... little slow. <laughs> it's it, that weird skeleton with the triangular metal thing coming out of its head. Okay. <laughs> and it's in the middle. And then the disc is on the dais in the center of the room, John? Uh, the disc is on is uh, two, on the western wall between the two uh, the thrones on that wall. Okay. So, yeah, roll your initiatives. Okay. I got mine. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, what am I going to use? Hmm. Let's use this one. Why not? What do you okay. feel like doing? Oh, not bad. All right. Mayak, what do you got? Ten. Bang. 21. Nice. Tavriel. 20. Deep. 20. And Durkris. 22. Wow, I'm the okay, old man uh, on the totem pole here. <laughs> uh, Tavri uh, Tavriel and Gleef, who's got the better decks? Uh, plus five for me. Uh, it's Tavriel. Tavriel, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. And begin. All right. Yeah. Okay. Weird corpses are standing up and shuffling towards you. Dirk Chris, you're still standing out in the hallway. What are you doing? I'm busting into the room. <laughs> oh, that also includes the one that was on the throne in front of you. <laughs> I'm busting into the room, room. too, right in front of us, effectively. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will bust into the room and and be very angry, ragey in front of the one that I just came in front of. Okay. And I will be uh, swiping at that one, I believe. And when I get angry, my big nose is going to grow bigger. <laughs> and then I will take a swipe at him with my war hammer. Go ahead. Roll and it. That will be an AC 24. That will hit. For 12 bludgeoning damage. Okay, uh, you hit, but it doesn't seem to take all of it. Oh, damn it. And I will use my extra attack. Okay. Because I have that. Mm -hmm. Second attack, AC 18. That hits. For 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay, again, doesn't seem to take all of it. Ah! Yeah. That was white A, or corpse thingy A. <laughs> that will be my turn. Okay. Because I used my bonus action to rage. <laughs> Bang. Don't you have a second attack, though? I used it. Oh, you did? No, sorry. I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, how far away are they right now? Uh, you've got... Uh, one essentially right next to two they're essentially right next to you um you've got two 
that are one that's about 10 feet away, one that's about 20, and two more that are about 30 feet away. Which one did Sarah attack? Uh, the one that is right in front of you. All right, I guess I'm attacking that one. Okay. What are they... I use my claw attack. That is 25 to hit. That will hit. Um, uh, 10. Or sorry, uh, yeah, 10 magical slashings. Okay, he take he takes it all. Nice. So that is my turn. Okay. Time for you. Um. Uh, how far away is the skeleton with the weird metal triangle on its head? About 15 feet. What kind of check would it be if I wanted to run over there and do some ninjutsu stuff and try to like leap up and yank the triangle out of its head? Uh, it doesn't look like the, the uh, triangle can just be removed from the head. <laughs> okay. Looks like it's pretty well fused right. to its cranium. Okay. All right. Well, then That's gonna... it. If you want to engage with it, uh, you let's say you were one of the ones that walked in there, so you would get one opportunity attack if you want to just uh, get away from the ones the guys currently yeah, on you. I feel like concentrating during them just a way to go. Um, okay. What what is the status of that guy after Brian's attacks? Did he knock it down or anything like that? I wasn't paying close attention. Uh, no, he just did some damage to it. Okay. So I will uh, do some pop pop. Uh, pop pop. Pop pop. So. Swimmer. Critical. Nice. Uh, hmm. I don't remember what I sang. Sorry. Going to read. I'm gonna check somewhere. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And now I'm gonna try. I'm concerned about burning the key points. Oh. Still gonna try it. Yo, well. All right, so I'm gonna drop a hand of harn on that hit because that adds an extra one d six plus two. So I, I would read that as it's when you hit a creature with an unarmed strike, you can spend a key point to deal extra damage. So the, the dice part of that damage should get doubled, right? Because it is a critical. Any, uh, as I understand it, yes. Okay. So I've got the one damage die. I'm going to roll three more. Okay. Um, what colors? What colors do I even distinguish what I'm doing? Um, I'll make the metal one the additional. Additional normal damage magic that can So Alright, so we've got okay. not the best necrotic, but whatever. Um so we're gonna do fifteen magical fists and then four uh plus two is six six necrotic. So a total of twenty one damage. Okay. He is bloody. Okay. All right. So extra attack. Uh, AC twenty four to hit. That will hit. For ten more magical fists. Okay, and you drop him. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm just gonna try to like tuck back against the wall. I'm not sure where Durkris and um, 
and Fang are, but I'm going to try to like position myself so the party's in a clump and people, I mean, flanking, I guess, doesn't matter, right? But right. so people can't get as many bad guys on them, even if we're not doing flanking. Okay. So you're all kind of hud- so you're all kind of huddling around the uh, the, the, the southern the entrance there. The, yeah, the the, 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 the easternmost throne was it that you said, or the western? I don't uh, know. That'd be the northeastern one. Okay. All right. Okay. So so yeah, kind of just in like a tight like a triangle group. Yeah. And okay. I'll end turn for now. All right, Gleep, you are up. Okay. Uh... Gleep tries to move into the room to the nearest uh, enemy and will try to uh, stretch himself around that enemy. Okay, that would be the other one on the uh, off the northern wall. Off to your right, he's probably about... You don't have any problem getting up to him? Go ahead and make, uh, make your grapple. Check. Attack. So this is my athletics versus their athletics or acrobatics opposed checks. Uh, I got a 23. Okay. Well, that is no contest at all. You have no problem uh, wrapping yourself around this other uh, creepy mask thing. <laughs> okay, and then... Masked um, thing. <laughs> making an attack with advantage, because that's what Keith can do when he has something uh, <laughs> grappled. Attack with advantage. Unarmed strike. Uh, that is... AC 25. That will hit. So that is for uh, 8 bludgeoning damage. Okay, takes it. Uh, so that was, so it's attack, well, uh, it, it's a- extra attack, was that, was that one. So then I can spend a bonus action to make one more unarmed strike. I make one more unarmed strike with advantage. That is AC 21. That also hits. Or seven bludgeoning. Okay. And it takes it. All right. And that creature is, uh, I don't think it's restrained. It's just, it's just um, grappled, so the speed is zero. <laughs> and that is Gleep's turn. Okay. Uh, the little, the uh, weird skeleton with the triangular thing coming out of his head runs away to the far side of the room. Now, uh, yeah. the... Uh, weird masked undead thing that you are currently wrapped around, Glee, attacks you back. Okay. Try to get you off of it. <laughs> uh, let's see what it was. It, it doesn't uh, have disadvantage because it's grappled, not restrained, right? Correct. It's it's just grappled. Grappled okay. never gives anything other than speed zero unless it says otherwise. There it is. It unsheathes its long sword and... Starts hacking away at you. Person. AC 21. That hits. Ugh. For three damage. <laughs> three damage. All right. This time it grabs the sword in both hands. Swings at you again. Yeah. Or AC nine. Eh? Miss. Okay. Uh, the uh, the undead creature thingy that was on the north, uh, on the on the west wall, north, uh, advances forward. Uh, uh, the people that are closest are Gleep and uh, Fang. Let's see. Evens odds. Evens. He attacks Gleep. <laughs> he also swings at you with his long sword. Attack number one is AC 11. Yes. Yes. Attack number two. AC 13. Yes. Yes. Wow. You're very squishy. If Gleep keeps reforming himself to move out of the rear <laughs> on, on the swings. Now, does the miss let you make it hit something else? Um, is there another creature within... Well, yeah, this is a different one that's attacking, right? 
Uh, this is a different one that's attacking, yes. Okay, so yeah, I, so Katie's reminded me, thank you, honey, of my um, mm -hmm. uh, Way of the Drunken Master feature. So I'll spend a key point. Um, so that feature is. Da, 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 da. Spend one key point as a reaction to cause the attack to hit one creature of your choice. So the creature that I'm grappling, it'll hit that creature instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's that's when it hits me. It just missed me twice. So never mind. That doesn't work. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All oh, right. Nope. Sorry. Wait. I can't. I, I, I'm I'm totally messing up. When a creature misses you, okay. <laughs> then, then it's confusing me because it says it hits the other creature. So, like, it, it automatically hits. It, it just automatically does damage. I think is what it's saying. Mm -hmm. You spend You're a key using point one point of your precious key points. Yeah, if, I, if, I, if, I use my, if I use my reaction and my key point, I guess it's saying that it just automatically damages the creature. Oh, okay. Hmm. Roll damage. It's mm -hmm. to spend one key point as a reaction to cause the attack to hit one creature of your choice. So I'm, I'm turning its miss into a hit on the creature that I'm choosing. Oh, I see. So, so, it, so it missed me, but now it's going to hit the creature I'm grappling. And then okay, so it rolls damage. damage on the creature you're grappling. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I think I got it wrong. Um. <laughs> nope. It uh, does kind of smack the other creature uh, a little bit, so. Uh, but it doesn't seem to take all the damage that it <laughs> could have. I got that it. it that it could have. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one uh, moves forward. <laughs> Moves forward 20 feet and attacks Fang. Fang attack. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. This one doesn't immediately swing it. Uh, Swing at you with its long sword. It takes a swipe at you and hits AC AC twenty. That is a hit. Okay, you take seven damage and make a Constitution saving throw. modifier? Correct. Seven? A grand total of seven? Yeah. Right. Um, as his uh, hand swipes you, you feel a chill run through your body, and uh, your hit, your maximum hit points are also reduced by seven. So Brian, it work for a tiger. If you have proficiency in the saving throw, which I don't know if it does, I don't know how that works with the tiger. You would get maybe like a plus plus two bonus or something, a plus three bonus. Yeah, I don't I don't have proficiency in con save. Okay. All right. Um, and then he takes another swing at you with the long sword. Uh, AC, but AC 10 is probably not going to do it. Guess that'll miss. Okay. Uh, the two on the far side also start to also advance on the party. Uh, who is still up front? Uh, one takes a... Uh, no, you're a very big target there, Fang. Uh, oh, uh, John, did, did I take... Damage? Oh, he's right here. Yeah. Never mind. I got you. Yep. Yeah, okay. 
Um, actually, what is their intelligence? No, they're smart enough. Okay. No, they're gonna try to get the guy, get their, get their buddy out and attack Lee. <laughs> so, first one. Uh, go, 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 go. Yeah, takes us. Uh, also, takes a swipe at Gleek with its hand. Uh, Gleek, huh? Uh, Gleek, Gleek, Gleek. Whatever. AC seven. Some people like to Gleek. <laughs> AC seven. Gleek, Gleek, Gleek. Misses. Uh, I reach for myself. And it's long sword attack. AC twenty two. That'll hit. For seven damage. Seven. Got it. Okay. And the last one can't quite get in there, so is going to take an, make an attack on Tavriel. We'll also, swipe at you. Yeah. AC ten. Not gonna do it. Miss. And the long sword attack. I need new dice, AC8. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't roll over a ten on that dice to save my soul. Alright. <laughs> Mayak, you're still out there in the hallway. What you doing? Uh I thought I was inside. Oh that's right, you were one of the ones that went in. I completely forgot. I'm sorry. All right, well, uh, you've got uh, at least uh, you are not immediately next to the one that's uh, that week is wrapped around, but you are within melee of at least two more. Um, I am going to cast Word of Radiance. Nice. And what does Word of Radiance mean? Uh, I utter a divine word and burning radiance erupts from me. Each creature of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 radiant damage. The spells increase by 1d6 when you reach level 5, so it's going to be 2d6 damage. Um, Okay. Uh, And con save is 15. Or 15, okay. Um, B. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, fails it. C. Also fails it. You're fired. D. Ah, uh, seriously, I can't wrap a crap Uh. uh you're definitely e. rolling crap. E. There we go. 16, that'll Shouldn't make it. So you e makes it. The toilet. Okay, so that's three that don't make it. I got one more. Uh, 14, 16, and F makes it. So yeah, that's three that don't make it. Okay. And Greg, if that's a cantrip, I think it's 2d6. Yes. Yeah, that's I, that's, that's, yeah. I'm going to roll 2d6 three times. Well, you roll it once and that damage is applied to all of them. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. That wasn't so me. Here I go. Here I go rolling. Who's firing? So <laughs> it's six. Okay. B, C, and D all take six. Radiant damage. damage. Uh, they do indeed take it. Nothing more, but they all take it. Alright, so is that considered one attack? Uh, that is your action. That is my action, okay. So that is it for me. Okay. Round two, we are back to Durkris. Oh boy. Durkris. 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 Um, Durkris. Durkris, Durkris, Durkris. Everybody's kind of bunched up together there, so really you can just kind of swing on whoever. At this point. Cool. <laughs> and you've got your, your magical teeth. <laughs> True. I'm already back at half my hit points, though. Um, but I may still feel like mawing on these uh, hang, 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 h
上上，你特别上上，上上上上。Oh, um, apparently, uh, you also bloodied the, uh, 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 the one that uh, Gleep is grappling. I don't know if I said that. Oh, I did. Uh, no, Mayak did. Mayak did. Okay. They're still standing out of like A, B, C, D, E, D, or um, B, C, D, E, and F are all still standing. You've only taken out one. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go after B. Okay. Bloody it seems. Handy. That'll be an AC twenty-five. That would hit. With my form of beast bite. Yeah. Okay. For nine. Okay. He takes all that. He takes it all. You munch. You munch down on him pretty solidly. Uh, go in for a second bite. Okay. Critical. Nice. Oh, that's really shitty damage, though. Uh, oh well. <laughs> For eight damage. For eight. I rolled a one and a three. God damn okay, it! Okay, well he's still up. You mm. ate him, but not good enough. <laughs> Sir Chris wanted bones. <laughs> You'll settle for skin. <sighs> they're skeletons, man. Well, well, they they they're kind of corpsey. <laughs> okay, well, I will rip what's left of their flesh okay. off their bones. <laughs> and I think that is my turn. Okay. Fang. Great. Uh, I will... Attempt, uh, what's near me? Um, like I said, we're all kind of bunched up at this point, so... so just the maybe. closest one, I suppose? Yeah, I mean, you're large, but yeah, you're just kind yeah. of... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, I'd say at this point, anybody can just kind of attack any of them. All right. I will swipe at the closest one to me. They're all kind of the closest to you. Do you want the one that everybody else has been attacking? Yeah. Uh, most every, That'll a couple work. others have been slightly damaged. Yeah, the okay. The one that's most dead. The one that's mostly dead. That's okay. the one that mostly around. dead. Mostly dead. They're all mostly dead. <laughs> Is that the one that Gleep's wrapped around? Yes. Alright, I'll hit that one. Okay. I was going to ask if he got taken out. I'm distracted here. Going mute again. Oh, I've been forgetting to add three to my damage because I'm raging. Oh, oh no. So it should have been 12 and 11. 17 to hit. 17 hits? Well, well, there's ogres. Sorry. <laughs> I could have poisoned the guy that I did the shock damage to. I completely forgot that I could have, for no additional key points, poisoned the guy. That <laughs> I, <did>. I hear <laughs> you. For 11, 11 <laughs> magical slash. Okay. It kind of it crumbles to the ground. Woo! Yeah, Dragon tiger. Greek down with it. <laughs> Death metal voice. <laughs> I will. I, I don't, have to, I don't have to advance on anything. There's still stuff. Yeah, you, you're, 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 like I said, you're large, so you can just kind of turn in place and just kind of start swinging at whatever. Okay. All right, well, that is my turn then. Okay. Tavriel, you just ran off. Sorry, I'm, I was grabbing food, but I'll come right back and make an attack and then finish grabbing food. Actually, <laughs> juggling act here. That's why it's like I didn't know if B was taken out, if it was still alive. <laughs> All right. I have a question. Sure. Um, when I got when I lost my uh, maximum hit points, is that for all forms or just the form that I'm currently in? That is an excellent question. Go, go Google Sage Advice for that. That's that was rude. actually just starting to go to look that up <laughs> right. in the middle of running a fight. <laughs> right. At Sage Advice. Max hit point reduction while in Drew. Well, anyway, uh, Tavriel, I'll let him look it up. You okay. never decide not so, taking the turn. <laughs> let's see here. So whoever is the most damaged and ragged looking of the remaining dudes uh, they all collect. They all look fairly intact. Roughly the same? Okay. Yeah. 
next You're supposed closest... to be keeping track of that now. <laughs> next closest one. Okay. I haven't even been AC tracking. I have a distraction. All right, so pop, pop. Pop, pop. Uh, That's what you here. get for having a crotch goblin. <laughs> Valid. You're not wrong. You're not. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, AC 21. I'll hit. It's going to be for 10 I mean, magical. You just want to land. Magical. We're going to say it's magical knee this time. She's kneeing it. Oh, sure. Why not? Yeah. She's okay. pretty needy. So, ha, ha, ha. second attack. Timestamp. <laughs> uh, AC 27. Also hits. Uh, for nine, magical the people's elbow. Okay. Oh, you bloody. The rock is out there. <laughs> <laughs> she was laughing at that. Can you smell <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you smell what Terry what, what Gabrielle Gabrielle is cooking? <laughs> Smells like pie. (laughs) (laughs) All right, uh, and then she is just gonna like you know stay in a tight formation with the rest of the party and and her turn there. (laughs) Okay, go ahead, Gleep. All right, I'll go after the the most wounded. Okay, and try to wrap thyself around him. Okay, it they them Uh, twenty one. Grapple. Uh, versus. Okay. Yep. You succeed. Okay. I only got a 14. Attack with advantage. Uh, 21. That hits. A nine magical bludgeoning. Okay. It's still up. Attack number two. Uh, AC 24. You get three. Oh, this is your bonus action attack? Bonus action attack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. 24 hits. Uh, that is eight magical budgeting. Okay, still up. I'm going to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. <laughs> uh, that's turn. Okay, the weird looking skeleton doesn't do anything. Okay, down, down. Okay, the uh, one that is wrapping you up uh, takes a swipe at you. Attacking leap. Uh, yep. Okay, leap. Uh, AC 16. That just hit. Uh, you take uh, three necrotic damage. Feel that. Uh, start to feel that chill. Make a deep, makes a con- make a Constitution saving throw. Constitution Does he throw. feel summer creeping in? <laughs> Winter. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, but you managed to shrug it off. All right. Uh, it now stabs at, uh, swings at you with its longsword. Uh, AC 14. Miss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one tries to help its buddy by taking, taking a swipe at you. Uh, and he whiffs. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> miss. A whiff, miss. A whiff. Um, um, Wrong campaign. There's no whiff here. <laughs> Land longsword. AC 18. That hits. Oops. With wrong damage die. For five slashing damage. Gleep turns into a puddle on the ground. Oh no! <laughs> uh, the next one. Let's see. Next fight. Uh, let's see. He is going to make an attack on. The... Who has been who's been doing the most hurting? Who's the one who's been doing the most hurting? Is the other. Monk. So uh, we're gonna. So he's gonna make an attack against you. He's gonna swipe at you, and he's gonna critical. Oh, <laughs> uh-uh. gross! Yeah. Who is this on? 
on Tavriel. Oh, uh, take five necrotic damage and oh. make a deck, make a Constitution saving throw. They're near me. Don't forget about my bonus. Uh, okay, and that's three. Is the bonus? Yep. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Well, hello, cat. All right, so that will be twenty-five. Sorry, Okay, you managed to shrug she it off, like, no problem. You will hold me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and like swings at you with the long sword. Uh, AC9 is probably not going to do it. She dodges. Okay. And the last one uh, <laughs> starts, to also, uh, starts taking another <laughs> swing at the really big target that is Fang. Takes a swipe at you. I guess I should be <sighs> Whiffs happy again. that I am oh, small. God. My dice have cursed me tonight. Um, no, we cursed your dice. <laughs> and attack with the long sword. AC eight is not going to do it. Oh man! You cursed. The dice are not my friend tonight. Otherwise, you all would be puddles on the floor right now. Bang! Belly laughs at you. <laughs> your Chris does not turn into puddle. <laughs> Maya, go ahead. Dorcas turn into scales. I'm <laughs> debating what I'm going to do. I guess I will. Is there a bloody one close to me? Uh, there is. The one that Gleep is no longer wrapped around. <laughs> okay. So I will attack him. <laughs> and it's going to be AC 21. That will hit. And it is for a measly six. Okay. Even though he doesn't quite take, even though he doesn't take all of it, he still manages to take enough, and he crumples. Oh, good. Woohoo! May I put the kills? Is that your first <laughs> or sec- second attack, buddy? That is my first. Mm-hmm. All right. So I turn over to the next one. Okay. And attack again. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be 12 to hit. That will miss. Ah, uh, damn. There goes that one. There goes that what's, one. what's the lowest we've hit on since I suck at AC tracking tonight? I don't think anybody else has been keeping track either. No one's been keeping track. <laughs> <Squirrel>. <laughs> yeah, there's no AC tracker! Roger, roger. Okay, round Little three. Durkris. Durkris. <laughs> Is there a Dorcris in the house? Okay, Dorcris is uh, going to chompy chomp, chompy chomp chomps on uh, the next one available. Next one available? Okay, just go ahead. <laughs> oh, sheet. That is only an AC 10. That's going to miss. That is going to miss. And then a second attack. Shit, since a 19. Ah. Uh, Almost a critical. Almost. AC 27. <laughs> that will hit. That will hit. And that is going to be for 8 plus 3 because I'm still raging. So, 11. 11. With and the chompy with chomp, the, piercy, piercy. Chomp. Okay, you take a Which good... Which is magical, as John and I figured out <laughs> over the last two weeks. Oh, so, is that turn? Uh, yeah. Oh, because okay. we have ruled that we can't feed potions as a bonus action, correct? Uh, correct. It takes an action. Okay. It's a use item action. Okay. okay. So, Fang, you're up. Can I move at least 20 feet? Uh, you will take three attacks I... of opportunity if you do. I can bonus action disengage. Okay. Uh, so, twenty. I say twenty. Hang on. I said twenty feet, and you're large. Yeah. No, That's you've cool. only got fifteen feet of movement. You only, yeah, you've only got fifteen feet around you. Okay. Then I will continue to swipe with my claw. Okay. Uh, the most damage-looking one. Okay. Is your mission to knock them down, Brian? Because I think there's other attack rules you could use to do that. Uh, I only have the one. 
I have pounds, but I need to run 20 feet in a straight line. Alright, Chris, nice smoking crack on it. I, I mean, I mean, anybody can, yeah, okay, yeah, can you make miss. a push attack. It, it's basically like a grapple, but you just push them to the ground instead of grappling them. It's yeah, it, it's it's an opposed check type thing. What, what he said might be worth trying. They're they're probably pretty weak in that regard. Wait, well, yeah, but that would be my attack, and then it would, yeah, it would replace the else. attack. Okay, do you have just the one attack? Uh, yep, just the one attack. Okay. So. That is my turn. Um, Gabrielle, you're... Okay. Uh, so let's see here. So C also got killed. Am I tracking that correctly? That is correct. Okay. Oh, boy. I have a musical baby. Oh, we'll do the best we can. All right. So I'll go to the next closer one. Uh, yeah. who, who, which one has um, Fang been attacking? Is it D? Uh, yes. Okay, so she's gonna go to D. And she's gonna hit it. Uh, yeah. So. I'm gonna do a roundhouse kick first. Sure. Uh, AC 16 to hit. That will hit. That's gonna hit for 10 magical foot. Okay. You bloody it. Okay. And then she is going to swing. Pick again. Uh, AC 19 to hit. Uh, that will also hit. Uh, max damage 11 magical foot. Okay. It takes it. Okay. And then flurry of blows. So. <laughs> I always think of that too. Yeah, I don't know who's getting her spun up, so he gets more stuff on his audio. Chris is going to have to so. ask you to stop getting the baby spun up while your <laughs> wife is taking her turn. It's causing background noise. <laughs> Goodness gracious. She does seem to like Ray Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, all right, so then we're gonna, yeah. So first attack on the flurry of blows. Away. Ooh, maybe not that one. Uh, so AC twelve. I did uh, not hit with not that. Do it. Nope. All right. Well, regardless of that, she is going to use the second flurry of blows to like swing a foot back and tap it on Buddy Gleep and heal him for D6 plus two. Okay. So. Are you tapping uh, Gleep? Yes, no. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you have five hit points there, bro. This is a family uh. show. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, okay. I think we actually have a thing that this is not suitable for work on our website. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there, 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 there is a button that I have to press called explicit, uh, which I do for Sarah. Uh, <laughs> it's wait, specifically uh, because of Sarah. Sarah, I have to make it explicit. <laughs> I make this show explicit? Uh huh. Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I've been known to say some shit. Ek, like, F, excuse me? <laughs> I'm just saying. Aka, excuse me? <laughs> Aka, believe it. <laughs> so, anyway, so, you done there, Ariel? Leap with your five hit points. You want to do anything? Uh, let's see. Is um, uh, You said that everybody's kind of bunched up on... Um, how many of them are down now? Like how many? How many of them are left? Uh, we got three. Uh, three down, three up. Three down and three up. Okay. Um. Don't know what I have. And one of questions. and one of them is bloody. One is bloody. Okay. Hold on just a second here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try. Different tactic here. Um, I'm going to approach the one that's bloody. Okay. And I'm are you gonna... approaching me? 
<laughs> uh, I'm going to do like regular attacks, like 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 a pseudopod from from Gleep. Okay. Um, so this is just a regular attack, regular magical fist, reg- reg- regular Gleep. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is AC uh, 18. What? We'll that was for nine magical bludgeon. Yes. Smack the thing and it goes down. Okay. I approach the next closest one. I, I step in between my attacks. Can't kick make, your ass unless I do. <laughs> uh, make a regular attack. Okay. Nat- natural one. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's probably not going to do it. Uh, I'm going to flurry a blow. Okay. Flurry a blow drops. Oh, uh, that didn't even <laughs> sound right. Explicit. <laughs> uh, AC 24 will hit for 5 magical budgeting okay and then last attack AC 25 also hits for 8 magical budgeting okay okay and using this uh, drunken technique whenever you use for your blow you gain the benefit of the disengage action and your walking speed increases by 10 feet so basically I just move like away from the fight as best uh, as you well. can retreat into the corridor or into the room uh in, in, into the corridor is fine to the corridor okay yep and uh yeah that's a that's a cool technique there that that is the end of Gleep's turn okay the weird little skeleton out there still seems to kind of huddle in the corner okay you're dead you're dead you're dead you're dead okay uh, the one that you were just attacking, uh, since you retreated, is going to continue pummeling on the other one that seems to be hurting. Uh, that would be Tavriel. Hey, <laughs> uh, and he's going to take a swipe at you. Ah! Oh. All right, you know what? Um, this, uh, do I have any more dice here that have not rolled a one? Okay. So the swipe misses. <laughs> Trips on his face. <laughs> uh, he swings at you with his long with the long sword. AC fourteen. Miss. Miss. Okay. And the last one is also going to attack you. I'm gonna swipe at you. Ah, uh, AC ten. AC-16 with the longsword. Miss. There's a miss. Okay. Seriously, my dice hate me tonight. They do. I'm going to hate that's, me. That's, that's I'm going to go try to find a different set of dice. I have here. a feeling. You have dudes that are reducing our max hit points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm saving our bacon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. You'll have plenty of other opportunities to kill us, John. Seriously, this I was, I was really expecting this fight to, to uh, do a little bit more than this. But, you know, my dice just are not happy today. Use those specially unbalanced dice I gave you, John. It, yeah. I, I knew I was suspicious. There was something there. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I know. <laughs> go ahead, Mayhawk. Oh, I can go? You can go. Oh, nice. You can go. You can go. You can go. <laughs> I'm going to use... I'm going to use my branding smite. <gasps> smite away. Is okay. that a thing that happens on a hit card? Yes. Okay. Uh, so... Shit. Mathing. Um, hold on. Who let Greg play a character that he had to math again? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did that myself. But thank Just you. stick to barbarians. <laughs> I so love you. I'm sorry. It's not that I want to talk. I keep forgetting about all my it's extra points. It's 17 to hit. 17 will hit. And it's going to be for six. For six? Okay. And when it does hit, it does extra 2d6 radiant damage. Okay. These are undead. Do you have that feature? Uh, no. no okay. that, would, that would only be for his normal smite. Okay. Yeah, but this norm, but branding smite does do two d six, um, okay. radiant damage on the okay, target. So just, all right, so just give me the total. Uh, hold on, let me just read it just to make sure. 
Uh, let's see, before the next time you hit a creature, before a spell ends, a weapon gleams with astral radiance as you strike. The attack deals an extra 2d6 radiant damage to the target, which becomes visible if it's invisible and the target sheds dim light in a five foot radius and can't become invisible, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't have anything to do with this. Okay. So, uh, actually, it's 3d6. So it's 3d6. Okay. So that is going to be a total of eight. Eight. Okay, eight plus what was the uh, other one? Uh, the original was six. Okay, six plus eight, eight. So 14 total damage. Yes. Okay. It is, it is bloody and it is glowing white. All right. So I go again. Uh, was that a spell or was that an attack? Uh, oh, I guess it was a spell. Uh, the casting time's one bonus action, though, John. Um, hang on. So it's it's a bonus action. Hang on, take money. Yeah, go ahead. I just I want to see branding. Let me just read the description. Next time you hit. Oh, okay. So you do. Okay, so you cast it as a bonus action. And then it empowers your next weapon attack. Got it. So, yeah. Okay, so you are making regular attacks at this point. You had a oh. character that used this, dear. That doesn't necessarily mean... In our mean last I'm, campaign. It doesn't mean anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> so you're saying I can go again? But yeah, you, you're using okay. your regular attacks, so... <laughs> okay, so this is going to be AC 21. That will hit. Four... Or seven. 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 Uh, and there's also the extra Oh, wait a damage. minute. Your, 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 your sword is not magical, so... And there's no extra damage on this one. It's only the first hit. Oh, gosh. Uh, so he doesn't quite take all of it. Boo. It's going to take all of it, and I say so. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and also the... Uh, and also the slashing portion of the last one. Okay, he's still bloody, but still up. Uh, next round. And I drop my mic. I'm done. <laughs> we end round four. We are back to Dirk Riss. Hi. Hi. So I see. I see a glowy skeleton, and what else? And a not glowy, and a not glowy skeleton, and another, and another not glowy skeleton, kind of far away. Okay, I'm going after the glowy one. Okay. Munchy, munch away. That is 27. Okay, go ahead. Damn it. <laughs> For 10 piercing. For 10, okay. It's just a light snack at this point, but he's still up. <laughs> and 21. Also hits. For... Another ten piercing. Okay. It that tastes like my ash. Bonus three. Yep. It tastes like ash in your mouth as it crumbles. As it crumbles. <laughs> like ash. <laughs> These things taste like shit, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're Chris out. <laughs> okay. Bang. Oh. There it. Uh... I am going to... Who I should have named a Dale Grove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take a swipe at the uh, most damagey one again. Okay. Well, there's only one left. All right, cool. I thought uh, you said only that one there attacking. were three. Well, there's only one. Well, you just killed one. Mm. Right, and I killed one, so, so there there's still two one now. Yeah, so there's one attacking you, and one, and that weird skeleton that's still running around. Oh, the three. one with the pyramid in its head. Yeah, yeah which hasn't been attacking us yet. Twenty-four to hit. That will hit. Uh, 
14's magical slashing. Okay. And that will be my turn. Okay. Tavriel. Okay. Let's see if they're a chatty baby. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, so everybody's up and functioning. We've got one white left who's been attacked by a couple people now. All right, so she is gonna pop, pop. Call <laughs> 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 race Krispies. <laughs> oh, not for that attack roll. It goes up on my notepad as a cock. <laughs> Cacked. Eh, no. Nah. Did it land clean? It landed clean. So uh, no. It, yeah, uh, it is. Uh, it, AC not gonna hit. AC thirteen. That's a miss. Yeah. All right. So second pop pop. All right. That's better. AC seventeen. That will hit. It's going to hit for eight uh, magical elbow. Okay. Um, and then... And then... I really don't want to burn any more key points, so I am going to hold there. <clears throat> okay. Saying it's fizzace. Hope that other people can finish the job. Gleep, if you're done sulking. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will run out there. And uh, do regular attacks. Did you attacks check again. up? Yeah. Oh. Um, Kate's character used the healing punchy thing. Oh. <laughs> Her uh, magic feats. Wake up! Uh, AC 19 on the last remaining thing. That will hit. Uh, for five magical budgeting. Okay. AC 18. That also hits. For eight magical budgeting. Okay. Still up. Uh, floor your blows. Okay. Natural one. That's probably gonna miss. AC seventeen. That also hits. For eight magical blood. Okay, still up. Alright, and I uh, use the drunken technique again, so uh it forms himself away. Retreat. Retreats. That's turn. Okay. The weird skeleton still does nothing. Dead, 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 dead. Last one, still up. Is going to once more take us. Uh He's tired of taking a swipe at Tavriel. He is going to... Uh, this this weird creature thing just kind of ate his friend, so he is going to take a swipe at Durkris. Bring it on! Bony bitch! AC 22? Oh, that's what hit. Yeah. Uh, four <laughs> necrotic damage and take make a constitution saving throw. Plus three, don't forget. Okay. Constitution saving throw. Uh, okay, I roll. So that is a 12 plus a three, that is a 15. Okay, and you shake off the effects. Ah, yeah! Okay, that swings at you with its long sword. AC 13. That's going to miss. Okay. <laughs> Mayak? You thought the best with the pink mohawk. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, na, na, na. so that thing only lasts one turn because it's a bonus action. Yeah. One attack, attack or one hit. One hit. Uh, I'm going to do the word of radiance again and that is a 15 con save con save DC 15 he gets 15 oh that that means he beats it yep ah damn alright is that an all or nothing spell I believe so if it's a cantrip, they're usually all or nothing. So. Uh, it's one action. So that's, that means I get still get my other action, though, right? Uh, no, you only have one action. Oh, no, don't I have two that. attacks. I confused yeah. myself with that. Sure. <laughs> um, I guess that's me. Okay. 
Give her Chris. Next round. Round five. Oh, Dirk Chris. Yeah. Not Senator Chris. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Our usual over. leader is spazzing out down there. Yeah, like she's totally spazzing out <laughs> down yeah. there. Is Liliana in there or is she just going crazy? No, I, I believe the baby is in there with there were, no, there he were Chris wacky just that on the screen. screen. Okay. I set her loose sure. in the living room and told her to go bug data and she was sitting uh, <laughs> Disgusting <laughs> phony guy, you. You probably taste like <laughs> shit like your friend, but I'm still gonna <laughs> eat you. <laughs> <laughs> AC 18. That's a hit. All right. Uh, for nine plus three is 12. And this one tastes just as bad as the last one. <laughs> he tastes like ashtray. <laughs> this is the final white, or is this a skeleton? That was the last white. There's uh-huh. still that one skeleton running around. Nice. <sighs> chomp, 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 choo, chomp. Hey, you! Do you have a splitting headache? <laughs> 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 Can I try to go after him? <laughs> Absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, the room, you're, you're within 30 feet of them. I mean, the room's not that big. I have 40 feet of movement, so. I, I think you're good. You, could, you can get up All there. right. I will try to get him. That's a 19 on the dice, so that 27. Hits. Okay. That hits. Um, that's a bite attack for 13. For 13 damage? Yeah. That's all you needed. <laughs> you really? crushed him? Yep. Oh, wow. You bite down. You, you bite down on the skeleton, and uh, right it uh, collapses <laughs> right in the middle, and it collapses in a heap of bones with its skull perched with the weird triangular metal thing sticking out of it, just perched right on top of the mound. Cobalt smash. Well, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> 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 so, and. Congratulations! End of combat. It didn't. That one doesn't uh, even taste like any kind of jerky. <laughs> okay. So, with the uh, last little bite of the uh, rather creepy skeleton, it collapses down into a heap of bones. Uh, would, what would you like to do? Uh, Mayak would like to look at the triangle thing on its head. All right. Well, um, you go over, take a look at the, take a look at it, and uh, yeah, you pick it up, and it's just a, it's a skull with a weird metallic triangle thing, almost as big as its head, just kind of extending out. Do I feel anything or get any kind of like vibe from it? Is there like an electricity or something? No, it's pretty inert. Okay. Can I take it out of the skull, or does it not move? It, it's kind of fused to the skull. Oh. Okay. That's it interesting. It. How? There... How? Go ahead, man. I was going to say, is there any writing or anything on it? Like, from what it looks like? Not that you can see. I mean, it's a little fancy, but uh, for the most part, it's just, no, yeah, it's just this rectangular metal protrusion from the top of the head. Is it of a size that we could put it in one of our packs and just kind of take it with us and see if there's a need for it later? Yeah, you can take it with you. Okay. We do that. Okay. Can I I bat it around with my paws first? (laughs) Yes, Tavriel lets you bat it. It it, it makes a hollow bony noise. (laughs) uh, Does it it look like a D4? (laughs) Uh, No, it's it's more like a... uh, triangle. So is it like the tip of a pyramid? Is it possible to smash like as much excess bone away from the metal as we can at this point? No, you really can't damage it. Okay, okay. Uh, Interesting. But can we damage it? (laughs) Not really, no. (laughs) Okay, anything else you guys want to look at? Um... The disc on the wall, are the eyes still following us? The, the eyes are still kind of looking at you. Uh. Okay. Um, I'd like to investigate the 
the thrones more closely and then the things that we killed are the masks still on them or did they fall off or uh the masks are still on their corpses okay i'd also like to check out one of the masks uh well what would you like to start with um i guess thrones first thrones first okay make me a perception check Anybody want to help? I will try to help. <laughs> okay. I am no help on perception. Roger. I have disadvantage. Good grief. That was about to fall off the table. Mm-hmm. First one was best anyway. Oh, I do All too. Right. So, so I probably am not a good help. Let's see. So perception. So 25. Okay. Um... Uh, the thrones themselves are uh, fairly ornate carved uh, wooden uh, chairs but that are uh, firmly anchored into the floor. Uh, but you notice behind the southwestern or the th- southeastern throne uh, a uh, little catch in the wall behind it. Okay. Southeastern. Let's see here. So that's this one. It's a secret door. Let's see, hey guys, I think there's a secret door over here. Do you want to check it out or you want to clear the room first? Gleeb suggests that this might be a good place to take a short rest. He's In this room? Up. Yeah, he's pretty beat up. Okay. Well, once, once we check out the room. Um, okay, going, clear the room, right take there. a short rest, and then yeah. move on. Okay. Yeah. The eyeballs, I mean, they I, mean, I feel, feel a little nervous. weird about the eyeball looking at us, but maybe if we go on that wall underneath it, I won't be able to see as much. Yeah. I want to pick up a mask. <laughs> okay. Yeah, try like it on. A... Think, see, I want it's... to see if it looks good with my mohawk. Uh, it's, it's a fairly uh, non... It, it's a fairly nondescript uh, paper mache mask. Um, seems fairly durable, but... Uh... It, even though you've got a weirdly shaped face, you're kind of able to situate it down kind of on your nose and over your eyes and stuff. Where are we at on time as far as in-game? Uh, like, since, since we defeated none, that thing in the hallway? Uh, none of you have the keen mind feet, right? No. So you're not exactly certain of the time, uh, but... Uh, <laughs> we haven't taken a long rest, so we're still in that first... We're still in the same day. Yeah, yeah we can do same. another short rest. I'm, j- I'm just curious. The, 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 uh, I guess, if, I guess uh, if we're doing a short rest, it doesn't matter. Mayox, yeah. Uh, Mayox's uh, second torch looks to be about halfway done. Oh. How long does a torch last normally? I'm One assuming hour. we'd have that an hour. Yep. Okay. Oh, I'm going to be like blind as a bat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was light one of your cantrip options? <laughs> oh, I can do daylight. That's that's very spendy, Greg. It's uh, not quite the same thing. It doesn't last as long as you need it to. It lasts like a minute. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have anything like that. Well, you you have cantrips, so the question would be if, if I only have would let two you swap, cantrips. But, yeah, I know. But that's because of a feat. I mean, if yes. we ever get the chance to uh, long rest, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But I can always swap out some spells. Okay, so uh, uh, so, so, in, so in the room you have the six corpses, each all we'll but one to, wearing a mask that we'll is currently crazy. on Durkris. Uh, okay. You have a pile of bones, a weird two bear-shaped statues holding a weird, creepy eye disc, and a sarcophagus on a raised dais in the middle of the floor. All right, so I I um, check the bodies. I, I asked Durkris if she feels anything weird for the mask. Uh. Uh, look like a mask. Okay, so just ch- checking the, the, the great bodies to see if there's like you know, medallions, medallia, anything of interest, notes. Uh, not pockets. really. They yeah. they were kind of wearing like uh, some uh, moldy uh, uh, studded leather armor, and the uh, they've got some pretty standard long swords. Okay. Um, crystal window, anything interesting going on on this side of it? Uh, it's shiny. Okay. Spark. If I put on the mask, do the uh, eyeballs stop looking at me? Yes. 
Oh, interesting. Uh huh. Clever Durkress. All right. Uh, I will Take an also grab a mask. Yeah. Nice work. <laughs> Good job, Sarah. All right. So. I, I guess we all have masks. I am a so smirk. So when <laughs> the eyes aren't looking at her, I, I'd say, hey, everybody, let's all get some masks on. So he puts on a mask. So I put on a mask. <laughs> Does it go through him? <laughs> he comes out of its eye holes. <laughs> I, re- I revert to my goblin self and put on a mask. <laughs> all right. Well, the glee, do, um... you kind of you notice, actually, at this point, that it, it was never really paint. They were never really looking at you in the first place. Oh. Uh, but everybody else, once the uh, once you put the masks on, oh, also you, uh, Fang, uh, they were never really paying much attention to you either. Because they were humanoid a, form. Humanoids, interesting. Okay. Uh, but uh, the the others, when you put on the masks, they uh, uh, they just, just seem to kind of they're just kind of looking around the room, but not really at anything in particular. Okay. Um. Hmm. I am going to take the six mask and stash it away so we have it, just in case something happens to one of ours. Um, and then... My next character will work. Or mine. <laughs> we'll see. After your first uh, character gets disintegrated. Right. Uh, so what's going on with the sarcophagus? Does anybody want to help me perceptify? Well, maybe now that those that? eyeballs are I'm watching, like, we like might be able to get dope it. Yeah. Right. So, what, what would your choice be for me checking out the sarcophagus? Can we investigate the sarcophagus? Investigation or perceptify? Uh, uh, the, uh, I'll investigate it. I'll help you. Uh, all right, go ahead and investigate the sarcophagus. With advantage. Oh, with advantage. Yes. That's still only a nine. Okay, so you look at the sarcophagus and... The lid looks kind of heavy, um, but with a little bit of uh, jiggling, it, 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 it kind of moves. So it does seem to kind of move a little. Okay. Do I think I could muscle it? Uh, I don't know. Do you? I think I can muscle this. I'm going to attempt to open it. All right. Give me a strength athletics check. That's a 22. All right. You don't have too much trouble just shoving that uh, lid off the su- to the side of the car sarcophagus, and it lands on the far side with a uh, echoing thud. Inside Let's hope the sarco- I didn't just kill myself. <laughs> or the <Yeah>. party. <laughs> Inside the sarcophagus, you see uh, the bones of a... Uh, Weird. Uh, hang on. I guess it would be kind of be some sort of strange mammal mm. that you don't that you don't quite recognize. You can try to identify it if you want. But where where is there? Um, they um lying in a dusty pile. On top of which lies a, a, a shiny ring. Oh. Shiny. Oh, I'll take that ring. <laughs> All right. As you reach out for the ring, uh, as you touch the ring, the dust swirls into the shape of an anim- a small, feral, bear-like creature that oh, billows boy. towards you with a ghostly roar. I'll roar back. Yep. <laughs> uh, I need. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Form of right. beast. Hang on. Yeah, I need to look up something else here. Hang on. Shape here. of teeth. <laughs> well, I'm still technically raging. I think, unless you think it's been uh, more than a no, minute. No, you've it's it, it's been well long more than a minute. You've been investigating the whole room stuff. It's been like a half an hour. Oh, okay. As you've been as you've been digging around the room. Okay. Ah, there we are. Um, make a charisma saving throw if you so choose. Ah, 
<laughs> oh, you got plus three, so you got four. Four. <laughs> oh, okay. That probably. John said, uh, if I am, you, if you I am choose. uncharismatic, sexy kobold. <laughs> <laughs> I think John's implying that you can fail the saving throw. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, as you. Okay. <laughs> You start to feel, as the, as the uh, dust envelops you, you start to feel it invading your mind. Uh-oh. And uh, in your head, you start to feel you... Uh, uh, where are you? Eh. Silly things. Why can I never find... There you are. Uh, you start to you have to you hear a voice. You start to feel a uh, a feminine voice in your head. Oh, it, it, it's been a while. Uh, sorry, sorry for uh, for for that for scaring you like that. Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, as you and uh, uh, can I and cast as this something? Person, uh, nope, not quite yet. Okay. And as I'm the um, and as the uh, possession takes hold, you uh, start to feel a little bit of the uh, presence um, start to uh, kind of overpower you a little bit. Uh, here, this is for you. I will hand you the actual card next time. I just sent you a link in chat. Obulaka. Did you mean for that to go to everybody or just to... That's say... fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, now I'm curious. Is this uh, one of the gods? Now I'm super curious. It is one of the gods. Oh, shit. <gasps> That's not good for my character. <laughs> It's kind of no. uh, not so good for you. <laughs> I haven't read it yet because I don't know if I want to know. I mean, Sarah, do you share any of the information with us, or is it something that you wouldn't be able to share? I don't think Dirkris would know enough about what was going on to be able to share. Gotcha. <laughs> Honestly, okay. is this is this ain't that smart. Is this, this is the possession and not the ring, right, John? Correct. Correct. Okay. All right. So, based on my Sarah judgment, I would say that, yeah, I would feel the possession take hold, but I don't think... I mean, if you want, I can make an Arcana check to see if I know what's uh, going on. Um, it's, it's more of a role... I'll, I'll, it's what you're thinking of. It's, it's more of a role-play thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What is it you're trying to determine? Like, because they're asking, like, if I tell them what's happening to me, like, would I have words to be able to describe what's happening to me? I don't know that I would. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I think the idea, the concept of possession would be. I would think I would common. know something about that. <laughs> Yeah. Being a paladin. Yeah, we saw a ghost go into her, right? So pretty much. Uh, so your Shatter Kai girl from the Shadowfell probably has some idea of that in <laughs> Paladin between the two of us. Uh, yeah, I mean you could you could try. No, but as far as telling them what happened check. to me, I'm not going to be like, oh, I've been possessed by so and so. It's going to do this to me. Yeah, but if you say that you're hearing a voice in your head. No, at this point, I'm just going to be like, my role play of my character is going to change. Ah. Uh... Okay. So, I mean, you yeah. can make a religion check if you want to get a little bit more. If if you just want to know whether or not your character understands what's happening. Okay, I'll I'll go with that. Yeah, I mean, it did talk to you, so then it's a matter. That's of... That's a two. Yeah. Your character doesn't really understand. I have no what's idea happening. what's going on. So, <laughs> uh, hello. I don't. Oh boy, there. That was weird. Hmm. What happened? I don't know. I feel a little, uh, strange. Hmm. Why are... You I were don't know. You were talking to something. Yeah, there was a it's... voice. It, it, it sounded like a sexy little girl. 
Oh, is it another I, sexy girlfriend for you? I, 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 I don't know. Women. I don't Thank you very think much. it was a couple. Oh, oh. oh, so she's still talking to me. <laughs> you ask who she is. Hello, little girl. Where, uh, how, who are you? I, I am a grown woman. Thank you very much. Oh, grown, grown woman. I'm sorry. You have a very pretty voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, uh, uh, I thank, thank you. I guess. I guess. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Thank. Thank you. I think. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Can I help you? I know that I have a very uh, a strong, sexy body, but I don't know what you're doing <laughs> doing with well, me. It, well, it, it, if, you, if you say so, uh, um, I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for that. Uh, but um, actually, I, I, I was thinking more that I, I could help you. Okay. It, 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 it has, it's just, it's, it's been a long time since I've actually, you know, had, had anybody to talk to. I like so. to talk. Yeah, uh, so it was good. So, so, so I see. All right. Um, but, um, yeah, I've... Yeah, probably ever 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 since uh, um, Asarak uh, kind of locked us in here. I've kinda, it's been very lonely. Oh, that's the person that I think that... Um, what was that name again? Asarak. Asarak? Yes. I have Asarak. Back home. <laughs> <laughs> she my sexy kobold girlfriend. <laughs> Well, I, I, nice I don't rack. think the I, I don't think the Asarak is a kobold. Oh, no, okay. He's a witch. Well, kobolds are best. Mm. I'll, t I'll, t I'll take your word for that. Uh, you better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I guess you're along for the ride. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm okay. here now. I'm certainly. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be. I don't certainly don't want to go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Tavriel is kind of raising eyebrows. What, what is she saying to you? Well, I guess she's here for the ride, man. I mean, can't help it. I mean, people just want to be with the sexy kobold, you know. What is she? What did she tell you about? Like, I heard you say a, a, the, the name from that obelisk outside. From I guess that, that person trapped her here. Can she tell you anything else about that person? Who is that? person oh it's uh uh sarah uh he just a uh rather well i'm not certain what he is now but uh at the time he was just a a, a, a lich with uh a lot of he was very mean Can, um a mean he, uh... lich yes oh uh, i even know he, that he liches apparently, are no uh, good had, uh, Desired. Uh, I'm not really sure why yet at this point, but uh, he when he came over uh, to uh, uh, our. Sorry, I keep coughing. You are very here. dusty. Yep. <laughs> there were uh, nine. There were nine gods that uh, ruled over over uh, this area here, myself included. And uh, all I know is, is that uh, he came in one day and. Uh, and uh, killed us all and next thing I know I'm I find myself it, it, it's very hard for me here. to remember what you say to relay it to my friends is there like a way you could just like take over my voice and tell them uh no oh shit <laughs> <laughs> well apparently this guy like took over nine gods okay go ahead he killed us. Yeah, no, he, he just killed, killed us. you. Yeah, yeah. He uh, killed the uh, nine gods. And and left us trapped in here. And left you trapped here. Yes. Wow. I we haven't have been able to get out of here get out ever since. <clears throat> can you ask? So if you've can... been stuck here with with eight other friends. Yeah, they're yeah. Wow. I don't know where they are, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're around here somewhere. Well, you're in a big stone sarcophagus. Yeah, yeah it, it, the inside was very dark. Can she, can she hear if we ask you questions? Do, do you need to read Can you hear my friends? Um, not really. Not Kinda really. Muffled. All right, can, can you ask if there's a way, if, if she knows a way to free the Nine Gods or how we would stop a Sararak? Do you know how to free your friends or how to stop this crazy lichy person? 
I, if I did, I probably would have done it a long time ago. That's a good point, good mom. Can you, can you tell this, her This one it? likes to ask a lot of weird questions, <laughs> you know? Oh, I see. If, if, if she knew, she would have done it herself, you yeah. know? <laughs> can you tell her about the death curse? Just in the case death she knows curse. something about that? I don't even remember what the death curse was. It's, it, uh, everybody who was raised from the dead is now wasting away and dying. Oh, right, right, right. So the, the land that we're in, where they trapped you, uh, there is a, a curse of the death. Uh, the death curse, I guess, it's what they call it. I don't remember. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I was uh, really angry with the guy that was trying to sell us a book that talks it's about my race. You get angry a lot. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but anyway, um, it's... It, the death curse is that like anybody that came back from the dead like wastes away to nothing oh uh well i nothing's been affecting me i don't know well you've been just kind of trapped here yeah so i can <laughs> see why that would you know and you're not really dead i guess if you're a god well, are you a god? It means it means something different to gods when they're dead. It just kind of. Can you kill a god? You can. Well, obviously. Uh, but, but are the, you really dead if you're a god? I mean, it's just kind of limiting. I think maybe we are getting a little. What do they call it? Phyllis. Phyllis. Philosophical. Phyllis. Phyllis. Yes. Yes. Philosophical. Yeah. yeah it's, but it's, please. It's, yeah. Okay. Better question for a well, cleric. anyway, <laughs> it's that last question before we. we oh, she's start still to asking you. questions. She's still asking. Oh, but she's does she know what the Does she know what the ring does? Do you know what this ring does? Oh yes, that's my ring of protection. <laughs> oh, it's a protection ring. Mm. Okay. What does it protect? Does it protect my sexiness? It, it, amongst other things, it protects oh. whoever wears it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, so I <laughs> short rest. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, um, go ahead and see. Okay, so you, I assume you kind of make some basic fortifications in the room, because this is only the one entrance that you found anyway. Um, and, well, we found two now. Well, you found the second one. <laughs> you haven't opened it. A second. Um, so, um, and so thanks to those uh, fortifications and the mass and various stuff, uh, you made it, you succeed in getting a short rest without interruption. Nice. It dies. Okay. <laughs> Buddy uh, leap. <laughs> so uh, when you get up from your short rest is where we will pick things up next time. Okay. So everybody say goodnight to the listeners. Bye. Good night, listeners. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review anywhere this podcast can be found. Our social media links, plus additional content, can be found on our website at knightsofroleplay.com. Please tell your friends about Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast and spread the word through social media. Your help and support are greatly appreciated.